Shizocarpic fruits show the characters of both dehiscent as well as indehiscent fruits. Shizocarpic fruits show the characters of both characters of both answer characters of both dry dehiscent and indehiscent. It is correct. Shizocarpic fruits split into mericarps, but the seeds of mericarp are generally only after the disintegration of only after the disintegration of disintegration of the pericarp disintegration of pericarp example for this the answer is a and r are correct r is the correct explanation of a a and r are correct r is the correct explanation of a because Schizocarpic fruits show characters of Schizocarpic fruits show the characters of both dehiscent as well as indehiscent fruits. Schizocarpic fruit splits up into mericarps is correct. <coughs> the seeds of mericarps are generally liberated only after the disintegration of pericarp is correct. So, A and R are correct, R is the correct explanation of A. Next, female gametophyte in polygonum divaricatum show all the characters except, show all the characters except 3 plus 1 plus 3 cell arrangement after cell formation, keyword, 2 plus 2 plus 2 arrangement of nuclei of functional megaspore after 3 mitotic divisions, an example of monosporic type of embryo sac. <coughs> It consists of 8 haploid nuclei before cell formation. 3 plus 1 plus 3 arrangement is correct. An example for monosporic type of embryo sac is correct. It consists of 8 haploid nuclei before cell formation is correct. So, wrong is 2 plus 2 plus 2 arrangement of nuclei in a functional megaspore after 3 mitotic divisions is wrong. It cannot be 2 plus 2 plus two arrangement. Next. Answer please. Study the following, study the following simple fruits develop from syncarpus pistil of a flower. Correct. Simple fruits always develop from syncarpus pistil of a flower. Two. Aggregate fruits develop from single flowers. This is also correct. Aggregate fruits develop from a single flower, but apocarpus over it. Aggregate fruits develop from single flower, it is also correct. During the development of compound fruit, many flowers of an inflorescence are involved. So, total inflorescence is formed, converted into fruit in compound fruit. True fruits are developed from fertilized ovaries of a flower, it is also correct. So, identify the correct combination means all the four are correct. Simple fruits develop from syncarpus pistil of a flower is correct. Aggregate fruits develop from the single flowers correct. During the development of compound fruit, many flowers of an inflorescence are involved is correct. True fertilized ovaries of flowers is correct. So, answer, answer 1, 2, 3, 4. All the four are correct answers. Next, it is a matching list 1, list 2, perisperm antipodals, endothecium, raphe, hygroscopic hypodermal layer in anther wall, ridge like part in anatropous ovule, nucellus in the seeds, scar left on the seed, vegetative cells of embryo sac. So, perisperm is always nucellus in the seeds. So, A is 3. Antipodals are vegetative cells of embryo sac, B is 5. Endothecium is hygroscopic hypodermal layer of anther wall, C is 1, raphe is ridge like portion on the anatropous ovule 2. So, answer is 1. Next, one of the following is true, one of the following is true, all single seeded fruits are dry indication fruits, one of the following is true, all single seeded fruits are dry indication fruits. Akins are found in aggregate fruits only, it is wrong. Akins are fruits even in found in normal fruits. All single seeded fruits cannot be called as 
indication fruits dry indication fruits are single seeded but not all single seeded fruits are dry indication because coconut is also a single seeded fruit it is not dry fruit it is not dry indication fruit it is a um, fleshy fruit so all single seeded fruits are dry indication fruits is wrong all dry indication fruits are single seeded fruits is correct all dry indication fruits are single seeded fruits is correct all single seeded fruits are dry indication fruits is wrong then akins are found in aggregate fruits only is also wrong why because akins are found even in normal fruits also no schizocarpic fruit develop from the ovary of monocarpillary gynoecium no schizocarpic fruit can develop from ovary of monocarpillary gynoecium is also wrong then the fruit like inflorescence develops into cyconus this is correct so this is correct fruit like inflorescence fruit like inflorescence is hypanthodium hypanthodium normally develops into cyconus fruits hypanthodium normally develops into cyconus fruits this is correct so one of the following true is the fruit like inflorescence develops into cyconus match the following and select the correct matching strasburger tribe navasin charles darwin chalazogamy advantages of cross pollination singamy porogamy triple fusion strasburger singamy so a is 3 tribe chalazogamy b is 1 navasin triple fusion c is 5 charles darwin advantages of cross pollination so strasburger known for singamy the concept of singamy was first explained by strasburger what is singamy fusion of male gamete with egg cell resulting in the formation of zygote tribe discovered chalazogamy entry of pollen tube along with male gametes into the ovule through chalaza is called as chalazogamy this concept was explained in casuarina plants for the first time by tribe navasin triple fusion fusion of male gamete with secondary nucleus is called triple fusion triple fusion was reported first in lilium and fritillaria but later in almost all plants charles darwin is known for evolution theories so he proposed the advantages of cross pollination in plants advantages of cross pollination are discovered by charles darwin next Eteria of drupes is found in rubus. Eteria of drupes is found in rubus is correct because rubus shows eteria of drupes. Each fruitlet in the aggregate fruit is a drupe. In drupe fruits, entire pericarp is stony is wrong because in drupes only endocarp is stony. Pericarp is not stony. So eteria of drupes is found in rubus is correct. Eteria of drupes means every fruitlet formed in the aggregate fruit is a droop in rubus in droop fruits entire pericarp is stony is wrong only endocarp is stony hence the answer is 3 a is true or is false eteria of droops is found in rubus is perfectly correct the droop entire pericarp is stony is wrong only endocarp is stony next to produce 100 male gametes in an angiospermic plant number of meiotic and mitotic divisions required for this i will do the problem 100 male gametes to produce 100 male gametes how many meiotic and mitotic divisions 100 male gametes means into 2 50 pollen grains 100 male gametes to be formed means 50 pollen grains to be formed 50 pollen grains will produce 100 male gametes because each pollen grain produce two male gametes for producing 50 pollen grains how many meiotic divisions are required means 50 by 4 50 by 4 is 12.5 12.5 meiotic divisions means 13 meiotic divisions are required 12.5 meiotic divisions means 13 meiotic divisions 13 meiotic divisions now to produce two male gametes in any angiospermic plants first pollen grain undergoes one mitotic division to produce generative cell and vegetative cell generative cell divides and produce two male 
gamete. So, to produce two male gametes, two mitotic divisions are required. To produce two male gametes, two mitotic divisions are required. So, to produce 100 male gametes, 100 mitotic divisions are required. So, to produce two male gametes, two mitotic divisions are required. To produce 100 male gametes, 100 mitotic divisions are required. So, to produce two male gametes, to produce 100 male gametes, 50 pollen grains are required. How many meiotic divisions are required to produce 50 pollen grains means 13. 13 meiotic divisions are required. To produce 2 male gametes, 2 mitotic divisions are required. To produce 100 male gametes, 100 mitotic divisions are required. So, to produce 100 male gametes in an angiospermic plant, number of meiotic and mitotic divisions required are 13 and 100. 13 and 100. Next. Consider the following statements and select the false one. Consider the following statements and select the false one. Pedunculate is fleshy and cup like in the fruits of cucumis is correct. We have to select the false one. Pedunculate is very fleshy and cup like in the fruits of cucumis. Ovary wall is free from the thalamus in tridax. We have to select the false one. Pedunculate is fleshy and cup like in the fruits of cucumis is wrong. Ovary wall is free from the thalamus in tridax is wrong because in tridax the flower is epigynous flower. Epigynous means thalamus is deep cup like structure, ovary is present at the center and completely fused with the thalamus, remaining floral parts are present at the rim of the thalamus. In anacardium ovary wall becomes fleshy and juicy is wrong. In anacardium peduncle or pedicel becomes juicy and fleshy, that pedicel which converted into juicy and fleshy is called false fruit. No part of pericarp is edible in the fruit of cocos is correct because Cocos is a fleshy fruit. Cocos means coconut. Cocos is a fleshy fruit. It shows a pericarp where outer epicarp is thin and leathery. Outer epicarp is thin and leathery. Middle mesocarp is fibrous. Middle mesocarp is fibrous. Inner endocarp is hard and stony. That is why coconut is also called stony fruit. The edible part in coconut is endosperm. So, what we eat in coconut is endosperm, what we drink in coconut is endosperm. So, outer epicarp is thin and leather. Middle mesocarp is fibrous. Inner endocarp is hard and stony. So, in cocos, no part of pericarp, either epicarp or mesocarp or endocarp are edible. So, here 3 are wrong, 1 is correct. Question is consider the following statement and select the false one. Select the false one means D is only correct, remaining 3 are false. Peduncle is fleshy and cup like in the fruits of cucumis is wrong. Ovary wall is free from the thalamus in tridax. Why in tridax the flower is epigynous flower. In anacardium, ovary wall becomes fleshy and juicy is wrong. In anacardium, Pedicel becomes fleshy and juicy which is called a false fruit. So, no part of pericarp is edible in the fruits of cocos is correct. So, answer is 4. Now, in hibiscus there are 50 stamens, answer 50 stamens. Each stamen contain 10 microspore mother cells. Number of pollen grains produced 50 into 10 into 4, 50 into 10 into 4 it will be 200, 50 into each stamen contains 10 microspore mother cells. 10 microspore mother cells means 50 stamens into 10, 500, 500 into 4, 2000s. Answer is 2000s. Next. It is again matching. Answer A. Study the following list. List 1 tags on list 2 edible part of the fruit. Pyrus malus, citrus species, mangifera indica, phoenix dactylifera, coca snusifera. Mesocarp, endosperm, juicy hair of endocarp, thalamus, pericarp and pedicel. Pyrus malus, thalamus. Pyrus malus is a false fruit where thalamus is edible. Citrus species, juicy hair of endocarp. Citrus is a hesperidium. It develops from multicarpillary syncarpus, multilocular, superior ovary. 
The outer car epicarp is green or yellow with oil glands, middle mesocarp is white and papery, inner endocarp is divided into chambers, chambers enclose juicy hair. So what we eat in citrus is juicy hair, mangifera indica mesocarp. In mangifera indica what we eat is fleshy mesocarp. Phoenix dactylifera total pericarp, phoenix dactylifera speciality is it is a single seeded berry, phoenix dactylifera is a single seeded berry. Cocos nucifera, what we eat is Cocos nucifera, what we eat is endosperm. Endosperm is edible in Cocos nucifera. So, Pyrus malus, what we eat is Thalamus. Citrus species, what we eat is juicy hair of endocarp. Mangifera indica, what is edible part is fleshy, juicy mesocarp. Phoenix dactylifera is a single seeded berry where pericarp is edible. Cocos nucifera endosperm is edible. Answer is 3. A4, B3, C1, D5, E2. Next, all the following are the parts of embryo except all the parts of parts are the parts of embryo except endosperm, tigellum, Scutellum, perisperm, mesocotyl, hilum. This is regarding the structure of dicot seed and monocot seed. Here answer is to A, D, F. A, endosperm does not belongs to embryo. Perisperm is the remnant of nucellus. Hilum is present on the seeds. Whereas, tigellum, scutellum, mesocotyl belongs to embryo. The embryonal axis in a dicot seed is tigellum. The shield like cotyledon in a monocot seed is called scutellum. The portion between plumule and cotyledonary node in a monocot seed is called as mesocotyl. So, tigellum, scutellum, mesocotyl belongs to embryo structure. Endosperm, perisperm, hilum does not belong to embryo. Endosperm is the structure that gives food for embryo. Perisperm is the remnant of nucellus, the left nucellus present on the seeds. Hilum is a permanent scar present on the seeds. So, answer is A, D, F. Next. The fruit of Cydax, Tridax is one seeded. The fruit in Tridax is Cypsela. Cypsela develops, Cypsela is the fruit of the family Asteris. It develops from bicarpillary syncarpus, unilocular, inferior ovary. The fruit shows persistent hairy papers that helps in the parachute mechanism of dispersal. So, the fruit of tridax is one seeded is correct. The tridax gynetium is bicarpillary and ovary is unilocular. Because the gynetium is bicarpillary and ovary is unilocular, fruit is not single seeded. Because of the presence of single ovule, fruit is single seeded. So, assertion the fruit of tridax is one seeded is correct. In Tridax, gynetium is bicarpillary and ovary is unilocular is correct, but it is not the correct explanation of A. So, answer is A and R are correct. R is not the correct explanation. Answer is 2. Calculate the ploidy of embryo and endosperm respectively in a hybrid developed as a result of cross made between hexaploid female plant and tetraploid male plant. Hexaploid female plant means 6n female plant, 4n male plant. In 6n female plant, 6n is the secondary nucleus and 2n will be the male gamete. So, 8n is the endosperm, 8n is the endosperm. When it comes to what is the other one? Embryo. From here, half will come 3n, from here half will come 2n, both will unite to form 5n. So, 5n is found in embryo. So, whenever a hexaploid female plant is crossed with tetraploid male plant, 6n remains 6n because secondary nucleus is ploidy is same as female plant, 6n plus 2n, half of male gamete will come. 6n and 2n becomes 8n. So, endosperm is always 8n. From 6n, 3n will come and from 4n, 2n will come. 3 plus 2, 5n will be the 
phi n will be the embryo. So, answer for this is phi n and 8 n. Calculate the ploidy of embryo and endosperm respectively in a hybrid developed as a result of cross made between hexaploid female plant and tetraploid male plant. Answer is 5 n and 8 n pentaploid and octoploid. Next. So, next study the following list matching list 1, list 2, Sipsella, nut, akin, caryopsis, answer is 1, A is 3, Sipsella, pericarp seed coat are free, inferior over, pericarp seed coat are free, inferior over, nut 4, seed coat is 20, by or multicarpillary over, Akin 5, pericarp and seed coat are free, superior ovary, caryopsis, caryopsis is 2, pericarp and seed coat are fused, superior ovary because caryopsis is a fruit of the family Graminae or Poiesi and it is always fruit wall and seed coat are completely fused. Here fruit is not called fruit, it is called grain. So, Sipsala, nut, akin, caryopsis, pericarp is 20 single seed, pericarp and seed coat fused, superior ovary. Pericarp and seed coat free inferior ovary. Seed coat is 20 by or multi rock carpillary ovary. Pericarp and seed coat free. Answer is A3, B1, C5, D2. Next. Select the following. Select the incorrect feature related to endosperm in angios, endosperm in gymnosperm. Produced after fertilization is wrong. Keyway. Produced after fertilization is wrong. Produced before fertilization is correct. Developed from female gametophyte is correct. Product of triple fusion is wrong. Haploid nature is correct. So, what are the correct regarding this? Produced before fertilization. Developed from female gametophyte. It is the female gametophyte which is regarded as endosperm and gymnosperms. It is haploid in nature. So, 2, 3 and 5 are correct. 1 and 4 are wrong. Triab discovered. Triab discovered. Chalazogamy in Cashurena, Misogamy in Cucurbita, Chalazogamy in Cucurbita, Misogamy in Cashurena, Chalazogamy in Cashurena. The answer is Chalazogamy in Cashurena. Chalazogamy means movement of pollen tube along with two male gametes into the ovule through Chalaza. This Chalazogamy in Cashurena was first proposed by Tribe. Next. Seeds of these simple fruits are liberated only after the degeneration of pericarp. Whenever the fruit wall completely disintegrates, then only seeds are liberated in the case of dry indigestion fruits and schizocarpic fruits. Fleshy fruits also, the seeds are liberated only after the degeneration of pericarp. But here combination given is dry fruits. All dry fruits seeds are not liberated after the disintegration of pericarp. Fleshy fruits and dry dehiscent fruits. Fleshy fruits and dry dehiscent fruits is also wrong. Pepo and Pyxidium is also wrong. Dry indehiscent fruits and Schizocarpic fruits. Schizocarpic fruits show both dry dehiscent and dry indehiscent character. So, dry indehiscent fruit and Schizocarpic fruits are the only fruits where the seeds are liberated only after the disintegration of pericarp. Next, edible sporophytic tissue of parental generation. Keep it. Edible sporophytic tissue of parental generation is found in the seeds of edible sporophytic tissue means nucellus. Nucellus is the parental diploid tissue. The remnant of nucellus, the remnant of nucellus in seeds, the remnant of nucellus in seeds is called perisperm. So, perisperm is edible in coffea arabica. So, perisperm is the remnant of nucellus and this nucellus can be regarded as a parental sporophytic tissue. Edible sporophytic tissue of parental generation is found in the seeds of coffea. Resinous not an answer because resinous shows caruncle, myristica shows mace, pithecolobium shows aril. So, aril extra outgrowths of the seed are found in pithecolobium, myristica and resinous. They are not edible. They are only pithecolobium is edible, but not parental one. 
Kafia is the only answer because parental sporophytic tissue means new cellus converted into perisperm. Next, non ovarian part of flower develops into a fruit. Non ovarian part developing into a fruit means non ovarian part developing into a fruit means false fruit. Any part of the flower except ovary suppose develops into a fruit, it is called false fruit. Non ovarian part in pyrus malus, apple, thalamus edible and in anacardium pedicel is edible. So, answer is 1 and 3. Non ovarian part of a flower develops into a fruit means which of the following plants has false fruits? Musa is a true fruit. Musa is a berry where misocarp and endocarp are edible. So, answer is pyrus malus and anacardium. Pyrus malus and anacardium. Answer is 3. Next, answer. Suppose a tetraploid oryza plant as a female parent is crossed with diploid oryza plant. Oryza sativa 2n is equal to 24 as male. Diploidy and chromosomal number in its embryo, secondary nucleus and endosperm respectively 3n is equal to 36, 4n is equal to 48, 5n is equal to 60. Tetraploid oryza crossed with diploid oryza with 2n is equal to 24. Definitely from 4n, 2n will come, from 2n, 1n will come, 3n will be present in embryo. Definitely it is 4n in the case of secondary nucleus because 2n and 2n will come. Then 5n is the endosperm. So, 3n is equal to 36, 4n is equal to 48, 5n is equal to 60 will be the answer for this question. Mace is morphologically mace. There are two extra outgrowths on the seed. One is aril, the other is caruncle. Aril means third integment, third integment of the seed which comes from integment or funicle. It is fleshy and edible in pithecalobium dulci, edible in pithecalobium dulci. It is dry and spicy, popularly called maize in myristica, fragrance or may, nutmeg. Identical fragrance or nutmeg gunter. So, arils are used as dry spicy structures in the case of myristica fragrance. So, myristica fragrance is maize. So, answer is aril of myristica fragrance. Trophial of myristica fragrance is wrong. Aril of pithecalobium dulci is not maize, it is fleshy and edible. Aril of resinous communis, resinous communis absolutely does not show any aril. Identify the wrong pair. Regma is found in E4BSC, correct. Regma is the fruit of the family E4BS. <coughs> Cremocarp is the fruit of the family APAC, correct. Lomentum is not found in Malvesi, it is found in Mimose. Malvesi means either Schizocarp or Loculicidal capsule. Sipsala is the fruit of the family Asterisk. So, here the wrong combination is Lomentum found in Malvesi is wrong. Regma found in E4BSC is correct. Cremocarp found in APAC is correct. Lomentum is not found in Malvesi, it is found in Mimose. So, Lomentum in Malvesi is wrong. So, the answer here identify the wrong pair is Lomentum in Malvesi. Assertion Female flowers of ficus develop into achenes. Female flowers of ficus, fertile female flowers of ficus develop into achenes. Psychonus is developed from hypanthodium in flower sense. Psychonus coming from hypanthodium inflorescence is correct. Female flowers of ficus develop into achenes is correct. Because psychonus is developing into hypanthodium inflorescence, female flowers are not producing achenes. So, the answer is second one. A and R are correct. R is not the correct explanation of A. Pericarp and seed coat are inseparably fused in the following fruits. Inseparably fused, caryopsis. If in caryopsis, pericarp and seed coat are completely fused, that is why caryopsis is not regarded as a fruit, it is popularly called as a grain. Next, one of the following has stony endocarp, panicle, polygamous flowers, and lateral styles. The answer for this is mangifera indica because in mangifera indica, inflorescence is a compound regime or panicle. 
on this compound rhizome or panicle you will find polygamous flowers what is polygamous condition separate male flowers separate female flowers and bisexual flowers and lateral styles in mangifera indica always style is present on the lateral sides like this style is present on the lateral sides and mangifera indica the fruit is a droop stony fruit in droop outer epicarp is thin and leathery the mesocarp is very very juicy and fleshy the endocarp is very very hard so endocarp is hard stony endocarp panicle inflorescence polygamous flowers lateral styles all are found in mangifera indica in anacardium occidentalis the true fruit and false fruit are edible why because true fruit is a nut true fruit is a nut false fruit pedicel develops into a false fruit azadrite indica inflorescence panicle lateral styles are not present polygamous condition may be present but stony endocarp is not found yucca gloriosa panicle is present stony endocarp will not be present polygamous and lateral styles are not present so answer for this question is mangifera indica fruit of datura is a septifragal capsule fruit of datura is a septifragal capsule is correct placental axis is broken in all capsule is wrong placental axis is broken only in septicedal capsule and loculicedal capsule in septicedal capsule the capsule breaks in between the carpels all along the septa the breakage extend up to the central placental axis the total fruit breaks up into small bits whose number is equal to the number of carpels in loculicedal capsule capsule breaks behind the locules almost at the center here also the breakage of stake comes up to the central axis fruit breaks up into t shaped bits and the number of bits is equal to the number of carpels but only fruit datura the fruit wall breaks either septicedally or loculicedally it does not extend up to central axis fruit wall fall off like bits or fragments seeds are attached to the central swollen axis so fruit of datura is a septifragal capsule is perfect answer placental axis is broken in all capsule is wrong placental capsule is broken only in septicedal capsule and loculicedal capsule it is absolutely not broken in septifragal capsule so you cannot say that placental axis is broken in all capsules so for this the answer is a is true or is false now a matching simple fruit simple fleshy fruit dry dacian fruit dry dacian fruit false fruit anacardium tagetus campanula pyrus malus shoria answer is 3 a4 simple fleshy fruit is pyrus malus b3 dry dacian fruit is campanula campanula shows porous capsule dry indacian fruit tagetus tagetus petiola is a dry indacian fruit sipsela sipsela is the fruit in tagetus which is dry indacian fruit false fruit is anacardium anacardium oxidatile is false fruit so simple fleshy fruit is pyrus malus dry dacian fruit is campanula dry indacian fruit is tagetus and false fruit is anacardium occidentalis answer is 3 a4 b3 c2 d1 now plant fruit type number of carpels involved in the formation anana sativa cycona several anana squamosa etiria of berries many cida cyjocarpic fruit many capsella silicula 2 answer is 3 2 3 4 are correct combination first is wrong anana sativa is not cyconus anana sativa is a sorosis anana sativa is pineapple pineapple the fruit is sorosis not a cyconus anana squamosa etiria of berries multicarpellary cult cida cardifolia cyjocarpic fruit multicarpellary correct capsella bursa pastori silicula bicarpellary correct so answer is anana squamosa etiria of berries many cida cardifolia cyjocarpic fruit many capsella bursa pastori silic silicula 2 wrong is anana sativa cyconus several cyconus is not the fruit in anana anana sativa in anana sativa the fruit is sorosis a compound fruit answer is 3 next again a matching question hesperidium pom coccus droop answer is 4 hesperidium 3 the epicarp is leathery pom 1 the pericarp is very very hard coccus c mesocarp is fibrous 4 and 
the pericarp is hard droop four mesocarp is either fleshy or juicy answer is 3 1 4 5 3 1 4 5 Arrange aggregate fruit with fused fruitlets is found in aggregate fruit with fused fruitlets. The aggregate fruit is formed from multicarpillary apocarpus vavari. In Anona squamosa, the aggregate fruit, custard apple, in aggregate fruit appears like a simple fruit because all the fruitlets are covered by one common pericarp. That is why it appears like a fused fruit. There are only three fruits Anona. Nelambo rubus. These are the three aggregate fruits which appear like simple fruits. They are not simple fruits, but they appear like simple fruit. So, an aggregate fruit which appear like a single fused fruit is Anonasquamos. Why? Because in Anonas sativas it is pineapple compound fruit sorosus. In Elambo nucifera, Fused fruitlets are not that seen. Magnolia indica, eteria of follicles, fused, fused fruitlets are not seen. Next. <coughs> Again a matching. Aril, mace, perisperm, exalbuminous seed means without any endosperm. Piper nigrum, Caesar aridinum, pithecolobium, myristica fragrance, ricinus communis. Aril is pithecolobium dulci. So, A is always 3. Mace is myristica fragrance. B always 4. Maze is myristica fragrance, B is 4. Perisperm is piper nigrum, C will be 1. Perisperm is remnant of nucellus, piper nigrum 1. Exalbuminous seed, exalbuminous seed means seed do not possess any endosperm. Non endospermic seed is also called exalbuminous seed, Sizer aritinum. In Sizer, Pisum, Arachis, the food is stored in cotyledons, they are all exalbuminous seeds. So, answer is A3, B4, C1, D2. Next, this is again matching. Embryological event, discoverer, plant in which it was discovered. Which of the two, which of the above, two of the above show correct combination? Singami, Strasburger, Kukubita wrong. Singami, Strasburger, Kukubita is wrong. Triple fusion, Navasin, Fritial area is very much correct. Triple fusion, Navasin, Fritial area is correct. Selazogamy tribe Otelia is wrong. Telazogamy by tribe is discovered in Casuarina. Double fertilization lali, li, Navasin Lilium is correct. So, answer is 2 and 4. Singami Strasburger Kukurbita is wrong. Triple fusion Navasin Fritillaria is correct. Selazogamy tribe Otelia is wrong. Double fertilization Navasin Lilium is correct. So, 2 and 4 are correct. Next. Micropyle inner integument scar of the ovule zygote. For this, the answer is A3, B4, C1, D2. Micropyle becomes seed pore, inner integument becomes tegment, scar of the ovule is hilum, zygote develops into embryo. So, part of the ovule changes occurring after fertilization. Now, coming to the last bit. A group of rootlets known as aterio. A group of rootlets known as aterio. A fruitlet is developed from ovary of each carpel of syncarpus gynesium. Syncarpus is wrong. For this answer is 3, not 4. A group of fruitlet known as aterio is correct. The fruitlet developed from ovary of each carpel of syncarpus gynesium is wrong. It not syncarpus, it is apocarpus. So, answer is 3. A is true, R is false. So, these are the questions regarding pollination. These are the questions regarding fertilization in plants. These are the important questions regarding post fertilization changes, perisperm, endosperm, structure of seed and many other things. And these are the questions regarding seed germination, epigeal, hypogeal and other things. And these are the questions regarding fruits, fleshy fruits, dry fruits, dry dation fruits, dry indation fruits, isocarpic fruits, aggregate fruits and multiple are compound fruits. So, that is about these two chapters. Next chapter we will discuss later.